We got real computer robotics ready. Powered by NVIDIA JSON Array Nano or RNX, especially in max performance mode. Now it's hitting shelves in late June. If you're still waiting for some high performance AI computer at age, you can't miss real computer robotics. It boosts super GPU inferencing capability on device, perfect to support complex environment perception and motion control in robot brain. Also, able to accelerate autonomous machine mapping and navigation. To conquer these challenges, Ray Computer Robotics provides a bunch of practical IOs for you to get connect, verify, and customize. 2XT32 Plus 2 Power, that's the place you can use wide range of power supply from 19 to 54 voltage where you may directly connect 48 voltage battery on the device for autonomous machine. There are three CAN GSD4 pin to support serial communication protocol between microcontroller and device. The UART is another serial communication port for console access. And there's two ITC ports for connecting and controlling MUs, sensors, and configured camera frame rates and internal board components. While well, on the other side, there's two RJ45 gigabits Ethernet and six USB 3.2 Type A with five gigabits per second data transferring capability. USB 3.0 or DP 1.4 both handling data and display from one single port. USB 2.0 Type C for debug or reset. And the last one is DIP switch for debugging, system setup, and field configurations. All of the key ports are shown at one side. And to enhance the wireless communicating power and storage expansion, M.2 Key B slot to connect 4G, 5G module, M.2 Key M slot to get storage connecting to NVMe Express 2280 SSD, 128 gigabits to 2 terabits, M.2 Key E slot for Wi Fi or Bluetooth module. And there's RDC battery socket to keep accurate timekeeping while the system is power off. And the most important is GMSL camera expansion header. It's to get extra 4-in-1 GMSL2 camera by making that one. So, how is coming with superpower right now? Module hardware is still the same, but with JPEG 6.2, NVIDIA unlock higher frequency across the GPU, DLA memory, CPU clocks, and etc. So now you get up to 67 tabs on JSON Array Nano and up to 157 tabs on Array X, running in max mode at 40 watts. And we didn't stop at the developing stage. To deploy in real world, we took the max mode and wrap it into a compact, production ready enclosure. So you get all in one AGI device ready to deploy. So you might ask, okay, 157 tops, but what does that actually get me? How powerful is that? So taking an example of deploying VLAN with Lava 1.67B using MLC and E4 on JSON Array X 8 gigabits. Before Jetpack 6.2, while well, it's around 0.5 tokens per second, and now it hits 1.2 tokens per second, that's over 2.5 times the speed. So, same hardware, just smarter and faster. Alright, all about is perfect. So, how could we deal with 40 watts heat dissipation? The recomputer robotics uses a precision engineered thermal design. Within this compact size, which you can see is 130 lengths, 130 wide, and 66 height. There is an aluminum casing ensures efficient thermal conduction. While the built-in fan and thin structure enable smooth airflow and rapid heat dissipation, that makes sure we have a stable, sustained performance at the age for intensive tasks like robotic control and decision logic. Plus, we have certification of ROS, REACH, CE, FCC, UKCA, and KC, making all devices go to market ready. Connect through XT32 Plus 2 CAM port, we directly drive three actuators in sync for real-time control. No need for extra driver boards. 
Now we support multiple aggregator and loader options for better compatibility with rig and unit robotics. Enabling Chris's control in real-time movement and create a unified system that combines age AI perception with intelligent motion.